So I have been looking into buying a monitor and I came, then, I came down to two different models, to two models. One is the Sonic that has a high color accuracy, but the other has a wider gamut of color, you know. Uh, and it can use P3 color space. But what I, I have discovered is that by comparing two screens that one had standard gamut and the other having white gamut, is that almost the colors look almost the same. There's very little difference between one gamut and the other. And having uh, different technologies like IPS or TN will have a much greater impact on the image quality. And I have confirmed this is the case because here in the display called Furium, one other person was able to replicate the same results. He realized that the difference of colors was only noticeable in very uh, specific circumstances where there was a sunset, there was very artificial colors, um, things like that. Uh, but okay, but then you can ask why not having a wider gamut if you just can have it? Well, it seems that the improvement of uh, colors mostly happens not due to the gamut itself, but rather because wide gamut monitors just truncate black levels, colors and contrast. They do an auto-tuning and this creates a problem because as somebody pointed out, pointed out here, um, you do that at the expense of color representation, you know. You cannot really tell when you are editing a photo how it will look in a different media. You cannot, for example, if you are editing a photo on P3, you cannot really tell how it will be made, mapped to sRGB, you know. So it seems that the shift to P3 needs to happen much before than on, on the hardware side than on the software. And it happens that nearly all appliances that I have tried, except one iPhone, but neither the iPad Pro from two years ago, uh, a Samsung TV from two years ago, my computer, um, all the laptops, my, my new phone from a year ago, neither of them was able to display P3 for one reason or the other, you know. So, in practice, n none of those device, devices support P3 except very few. So, when you are editing in P3 color space, you cannot really guess anima how it will look. You look this image and then in the target device will look like this. But more importantly, in this specific model, the AOC, it seems that people are having a hard time calibrating the screen even when it is set to sRGB mode without to tuning features, you know. They cannot get proper gamma, the screen doesn't allow that it defaults to gamma 2.06 so it seems to me that using a p3 screen is somehow problematic except if they if there's warranties that it will be able to display sRGB colors as they are you know and only content in the p3 color space with increased colors but if it doesn't do that, what happens is that uh, all colors are changed, you know. You will 
it will be more they will pop more out but they they you know it's there won't be any true reference about how they look like and this is important because when you have calibrated colors when you are editing it and the content is shown as intended by by its creator they can make sure that everything on the screen uh, is comfortable to watch or the colors are somehow natural for, for example the skin tone or that the blacks are not too black because they can actually, a human can actually see it but when a, a screen figures out that automatically it usually results in yeah, uh, more impressive colors but you sacrifice ergonomics you know um, the image is less comfortable to look at that's why color accuracy is important not only because of color but also because of comfort comfortability you know and um, this is what I extract if I'm wrong please correct me because I want to know this you know and thank you